Welcome everybody to the restaurant show and we have executive chef here, Gary Lang from the Breakwater restaurant um, out in Beaufort, South Carolina. And then also they have a fantastic new Breakwater in Greenville. Is that yes, correct? That's All right. correct. But now you are going to show us uh, the Crab Shack. Stack. <laughs> I was waiting for like the music to come in the music. <laughs> it's the crab stack. And um, this is something that you serve at both the restaurants. Is it a very popular item then, I guess? Uh, it's very popular. It's something right. it's, it's on the menu in Greenville. Okay. It's something we run as a special fight off to head off. Ah, gotcha. So it was born and raised in Greenville. And that then is makes special special appearances that is at true. the uh, Beaufort store. <laughs> that is true. I love it. Well, I already love all the greens that are coming into this that I see, but I know there's one neat one. And if, let me just put this real quick. I just want to show them. This is Faro. 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 Yeah. And um, I at first thought it was a bulgur wheat, but it's a close family to it. Yes, is that absolutely. Correct? It's um, it's a I wheat. It. It's a whole wheat grain. Right. It's um, it's 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 a fairly ancient food. Um, dating back some four or five thousand years. Oh wow, wow! So and, and reintroducing it. They are. Uh, this actually comes from Anson Mills out of oh, Columbia. Local, love so it. So it's local. Well, you guys do a lot of that, though, right? You really do. Um, you like that farm to table movement, where they're using a lot of local Let's seafood very hard and to. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. So all right, well, show me how to make this. Okay. Stack. <laughs> all right. We've got our farro. It's already cooked. Okay. And, and what? Is it, is it cook it like rice or? Very similar. What you do is you, um, it works best if you soak it overnight. Okay. And then you just simply boil it with some salted water Easy. until it's nice and tender. It's not like rice where it's not going to absorb all the water. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So just when you're done, Looks then you delicious. have to drain off the excess. Let's all right. So it. we yeah, put, it, put it this is cooked, kind of cooked and chilled. Cooked. Okay, great. Mind if I just. Good right here. Oh, what a great texture. Yeah, yeah it's I love a, it. it gives um, it's a real nice texture. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Yeah. Um, you can make a lot of cold salads with it. Yeah, I love um, it. I mix it with succotash See, for a hot. That is definitely a fusion of the southern food cooking yeah, and, absolutely. and ancient slash modern. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then um, to finish this or to make this, we're just going to put some uh, diced tomatoes okay. in here. Okay. All right. And deseeded. Deseeded and yep, peeled. Yeah. Absolutely. So put that Which in I think there. when people cook, they don't always necessarily, because they're you know in a rush all the time, just dicing up. But I think deseeding it really makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Huge difference. It, it, yeah. It gives you a much nicer, cleaner, better presentation. Absolutely. And then What's this, this is chopped cilantro. Okay. Good old chop. I love yep. cilantro, and I know there's some people that either love it or hate it, but I just think it brightens everything. People up. are definitely one way or the other yeah. on cilantro. <laughs> um, I personally love it. Then we're just going to finish this with. Oops. Oops. <laughs> We'll just pour this one in. <laughs> we'll pour this one in. This is just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, perfect. And it just gives it that nice, um, uh, silky feeling to it. Exactly. It really brings it together. Love and it. We're stirred up. That looks the, fantastic. The, um, Farrow was seasoned while it was cooking, so there's no need to re-season re it here. Gotcha. Yeah, and I taste, actually when I tasted it, you can already taste right. that there was already a flavor to it. All right, so that's the base to our crab stack. Okay. That's going to be our salad. Okay, you want me to put it right over here while yeah. we mix it up the next one? All okay. Right. Then the next thing we're going to do is... I love uh, the new salads and these new grains because there's a lot out there, and I think people aren't willing to always just buy that pack. Yeah. So it's nice to know that you can do this, you can make it into the salad. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there's a lot of different uses for it. Right, and it's incredibly healthy. This is yeah. uh, this whole dish is going to be I fairly healthy. I feel healthy already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is um, lump crab meat. Oh, love it. Looks delicious. Yep. Again, we're going to add some cilantro. And bring some great color yep. to it also. Yeah, a little color to that. And then we're going to zest a lemon in here. Oh, the fancy tools are coming out. That's right. <laughs> So we just zest it right in here. And again, it's just a quick, it's a quick, because I yes. think some people, they think they got to keep like, almost like grating it. No, you're just taking just, the, uh, if you can see, yeah. you're just taking the, the very, the very top. Would you say that this is a tool that you should have? I say this is a tool everybody Everybody needs. should have. There you go. There's your tip from um, Executive Chef. Always have a zester, which, um, I mean, the flavor, the fragrance that's coming from that is awesome. But you don't want the white though. No. You just want, And yeah. this is a great one right here. It's made by Microplane. Oh. And it's you can tell it just barely it got just, the peel yes, off. It just yes, absolutely. Because I know sometimes right. it's like people try and do it with like a fork. Exactly. And then you're. <laughs> and then we're going to take that and we're going to squeeze oh, okay. in the lemon juice. So you can get everything. You're going to use exactly. everything you can out of it. Love it. Exactly. This really is the perfect light meal. This is meal, a but great summer dish. It's been so hot outside, so this is absolutely oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Again, we're going to go in with some olive oil. 
And we're going to lightly season this with a little bit of sea salt. Okay. And I noticed you, we were talking about it earlier, using the flake sea salt, which is nice. I, I like using it too because you can see it. And I think sometimes when people just use the good old iodized salt, it's like you're not really seeing what you're putting on there. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, all right, let's give this a stir. Now that looks good. Now while you're building this, let's just talk a little bit about you. Um, have some great special menus on Tuesdays and Wednesdays as yes. we're building. We'll kind of talk about um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. You do a, I know we were talking about it, it started out as a recession dinner. It did. <laughs> Several years ago, we had the idea to uh, come up with a recession menu. Right, right, right. And, um, and you're actually going to see this on the It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, screen. and it's a two course dinner for a set price. Right, right. Um, and it is, I mean, and I know we're still, we're, I feel like we're always going to be in that recession, but that is a great price, but $20 and you get a two course meal at a very, very beautiful restaurant. Um, and I'm sure that, now the menu just changed though, from what you were, like a little bit more geared towards the summer yeah. menu. It changes about twice a year. Okay, there you go. So definitely check back and if you don't get to try them all at once, you, you know, okay. come back every week. Okay, right. so we just put the so farro salad. Put the farro in here, a little wing roll. Uh -huh. Do it like that and then. Just gonna stack our crab right on top. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now, if you didn't have that little contraption, you could use like a big cookie cutter or something like that, just That's at least to get your shape. Exactly. Oh, I love it. That looks delicious. And then we just finish it off with uh, just a little bit of garnish of uh, that baby cilantro. That is that is beautiful. That and a nice glass of wine at Breakwater is a perfect reason to go out to Buford. Absolutely. And um, uh, now with this, again, uh, make sure that you're always, you know, you're when you're using these fresh ingredients, go light. You don't have to always think everything's heavy. You can always go light with beautiful flavors and a lot of color on that too. <laughs> this is definitely an example of letting the food come through and, you know, the food shines and it does its stuff. And it really tastes those flavors. Well, thank you so much for sharing another great recipe with us. And, um, you know, check them out online. And again, check out their special menu that's also online. And we'll see you next time okay. with Breakwater. Thanks.